Follow my steps and create these animations. Scrolling timeline animation, circular countdown animation and spinning wheel timeline. Go up and add a text. I will go with the years from 2014 to 2024. Then find some bold text and increase it a little. Scroll down, click on Glow, choose this version and set the intensity to 18 and range to 70. Drag the numbers down and try to find the center with year 2014, cause we don't see the markers right now. But here's one trick that can help you with. Add text, click dash a couple of times, uncheck uniform scale, set character to minus 3, Increase scale width so we cover the whole screen and decrease scale height to 40. Now we can see where is the horizontal middle. Copy this line and rotate it to minus 90 degrees. So we also get a vertical middle and now we see where the center is. So now we can adjust the year 2014 to exact center. Scroll down and click keyframe on position. Then move your playhead to the 2 second mark, drag the numbers up and position year 2024 to the center. Right click on the numbers and show keyframe animations. Click on Y, mark this keyframe and click back to move to the first keyframe. Click on graphs and choose Ease Out 3. You can also drag this handle up a little. Right click and hide keyframe animations. Now you can delete these lines if you want, but I'm only gonna delete the vertical one. Go to the beginning, right click on numbers and create a compound clip. Go up to video, mask, choose rectangle and adjust it around the number 2014. Set the feather to 15. Now create a compound clip also on the line, go up to video, mask, choose mirror, rotate it to minus 90 degrees and click on reverse icon. Set the feather to 25, stretch it a little and you should get something like this. Let us move to a circular countdown timer. I will use this random video background for this case. Go up and add text, write capital O and increase it. Extend it to the whole clip, then go up to animations and on in tab, scroll down and find clock wipe animation. Click on it and set the duration to 10 seconds. Go to the beginning and add the text again. Write number 1 and change it to a bold font. Now let's extend the text so it will be easier for us to position the number to the center of the circle. Move playhead to the 1 second mark and cut it there. Go up to animations, choose fade in animation and set the duration to 0.4 seconds. And on out tab choose fade out and set it to 0.4 seconds. Now copy this number 1 and change it to number 2. Repeat the process till you reach the number 10. When you're done, highlight the numbers and the circle and create a compound clip. Shrink it and position it wherever you like. So if we play it now, we got this nice circular countdown timer. The last one is spinning wheel timeline. We can use the same video background as before. Go up and add the text. I will write years from 2014 to 2024 again, but make sure you hit space twice between each year. Make them smaller so we see all the numbers. Change the font. Scroll down and apply the glow. Go down, 
click on curve and set it to 350 degrees. Then move your playhead to the 6 second mark and extend the numbers. Move to the beginning, go up and on plane rotation click on keyframe. After that move playhead to the 4 second mark, go up to plane rotation again and turn that rotation wheel anti-clockwise 5 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and at the end make sure that the year you want to end with is on top. In my case that is 2024. Keyframe will be created automatically. Now right click on the numbers and show keyframe animations. Choose rotate, go to the first keyframe, click on graph and choose ease out 3 animation. Drag the handle down a little and hide keyframe animations. Then right click and create a compound clip. Go up to video, scale it up and pull it down like this. After that go to mask, choose rectangle, set it around the year 2024, move feather to 15 and you're done. Here we go! Let me know what do you think about the tutorial down in the comments. Take care and see you in the next one.